You know, me and Shot like and uh, I I I ain't the first like nigga that was that was like rapping that was that was that was you know hard that came out of you know the first one of the first gangster rappers out of out of uh, Fort Worth was come from Fort Worth a nigga by the name of Coop MC. I don't know if y'all if you know what I'm saying niggas familiar with him, but Coop, Coop MC was doing it big back in the day. You know that nigga was on Master P down South Hustlers and a whole bunch of shit back Yo, in the day. What guy. happened to him? Uh, you know shit. I can't say. I, I, I don't know. You know, nigga, just you know, just stop doing doing this thing or, or or whatever. But you know, this nigga was putting it down like nigga '94 and shit like that. '95. You know what I'm saying? That nigga came out back then. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what MCA and all them type of niggas was out because he 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 was like on that same type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And that was like the first gangster rapper that I really heard out of four words as far as just nigga on some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I personally heard. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and then then he was talking about shit that I could relate to because he was from Forest Hill and he was from the phone. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so kind of tell me like, tell, tell me like, what's the difference, man? Like between like you know like back in the day when y'all was rapping and then today's music. What was the difference? Uh, the difference uh, back then is we didn't have no social media we didn't have no internet you know what i'm saying so right. a nigga really had to have real motherfucking followers you know what i'm saying you had to have real people real bodies following you nigga not just the nigga you know what i'm saying pushing the button and saying they nah you had to have people really following you you know what i'm saying and uh i was fortunate enough to be a part of a group uh shout out to the rally boys man rally d everybody man shout out to the rally boys man uh, uh i was fortunate enough to link up with them niggas and them niggas had a, had a movement already, you know what I'm saying, going. Right. So when I when I when I when I when I got in in the car with them niggas, it was it was like, you know, niggas had real followers, you know what I'm saying. Niggas had 300 people that's gonna follow us to whatever wh whatever venue that we going to. Not not this, this not including the people that's gonna already come to see the show. This I'm talking about 300 motherfuckers going in there all at once, you know what I'm saying. Once. Yeah. yeah, 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 shit like that. Right. But uh, the, the the difference between uh, to to today and back then is, like I said, the, uh, the internet. Because now the internet makes it makes a whole lot of nobodies be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you had to really show a nigga something to be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't, your name, your right, right, right. right. You, you had to really be out here putting it down to be somebody. Now a nigga ain't got to do shit but sit at home in his drive and smoke a blunt and be somebody on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you couldn't do that back in the day. You had to really put in the work. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing about back then in the day. You know, I be I be I be thinking all the time. I be I I, I look at a certain nigga. I was like I be like you know what what would this nigga be without the internet? You know what I'm saying? See, cause you got to look back in the day. You got to look at niggas like UGK. These niggas went gold with no video, no social media, no radio play. Niggas sold 500,000 copies, nigga, with none of that. Do you think these niggas can do that today? Yeah, nah. In, any of these niggas on the internet that, that be on there every day and getting all these, all these views and shit, do you, do you think these niggas go, go sell 500,000 copies? Niggas can't sell 5,000 copies, nigga. Right. That's alone 500,000. Come on, man. <clears throat> Facts. I'm just saying, though, take, take away the internet. Right. And then see who's who's who. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh I had a name before the internet. You know what I'm saying? I I I had uh, established myself before the internet came into play, you know what I'm saying, which a lot of niggas did. You know what I'm saying? A a a, a, a lot of niggas that I came up with that I grew up on right. was already established before the internet even came about. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now So like so like like going back, like a lot of people can vouch and say, oh yeah, like dude was really out here like rapping. He was oh, really man. out here putting on for the Come scene. on, man. Come on, man. Any any nigga that keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Any any nigga that keep it real and just not gonna be hating and just keep it real. You know, a nigga told me one time, and, and this is a, a a respected rapper, you know what I'm saying? Told me one time, this some years ago, nigga told me, he said, nigga, you too real. I was like, damn, I thought about it. You know, I was like, damn, what do you mean? But then I was like, damn, that's a compliment for a nigga to say, nigga, your shit too real. I was like, damn. 
And one time a nigga told me, this 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 was recently a nigga told me, he right. said, man, he said, bro, I ain't gonna lie, cause we, we used to deal, I guess, with the same chick back in the day or whatever. Right, right. And, 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 and so the nigga told me, that nigga said, man, I tried. That nigga said, man, I tried my best to find something to hate on you about, man. He said, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find that, man. Your shit right. hard. I, I can't. That nigga said, I, I can't even hate on you. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga say that, man, you got something, bro. And right. it ain't, it ain't just because, uh, a nigga. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't just because uh, of the, the music. It's, it's, it's because of me. It's because of my character. It's because the way I carry myself. I don't. I don't, I, I don't, I don't come with hate. I don't come with animosity. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't receive that back. You know what I'm saying? Right. And 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 niggas see me. Niggas see God in me. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know how niggas say I, I'm, I'm a god and all that. You know, nigga, being a god ain't just because you can rap good or sing good or dance good. Nigga, that don't mean you're a god. Nigga, being a god is when you got God in you. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And I know I got God in me because. Niggas come around me and be convicted. You know what I'm saying? It's like niggas won't do certain shit around me because they know I don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? So when you got God in you, you gonna convict niggas, and that's why a lot of niggas don't fuck with me because they feel convicted when they around me. Nah, man, that nigga being be on some shit. I can't. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.